Hi, I'm Darren Nefsi. I work in animation, I do storyboards, and sometimes I like to paint. I chose the theme wonder probably because I'm always in wonder of the world and of nature and of everything. You know, I, I definitely have a lot of moments where it's like, oh, you know, I can't believe I'm here and I can't believe, you know, like, look at this tree, this is such an amazing tree. I do that all the time. Like, I just get really excited about everything. And I like to take a lot of walks and look at trees and plants and you know, even when you're in the city um, I really like seeing some nature and being able to to just kind of look at that and experience that. I think of a lot of ideas that way you know you're outside and you're feeling good and I spend a lot of time in a cubicle too and especially now that it's getting to be darker out earlier I get kind of you know sad you leave work and it's already dark out you know I'd, I'd like to be outside a little bit every day if I could and it doesn't always work out. Today I started with a thumbnail that I did in Photoshop on my Cintiq. I have a I have a Cintiq at home that I can actually draw on so I did a little sketch uh, just kind of figure out the colors and stuff. It's actually changed quite a bit since the sketch too. But I started with that, so then I could, could just kind of dive right into it. And I did the sky first, you know, as a backdrop, and the clouds, and you know, our foreground here, and then I wanted to render out the mountains. And that was really nice because I could paint her right over all that. What I really love about acrylics is if you let a layer dry, you can quickly sketch something out on top of that. As I wanted to paint a, a girl kind of looking at the landscape around her and, you know, kind of being in awe of, of everything, you know, and being in this kind of fanciful landscape. Could be an alien planet maybe, or a, another dimension or something like that. But I was thinking about that a little bit. I mean, I know it's sort of subtle, but you got these little lakes in here. Um, you know, so maybe it could be the world between worlds is kind of cool. She's got magic orbs. That's always cool. <laughs> I would like a magic orb. She has three eyes because I like painting three eyes. But I do like to do a lot of eyeballs in paintings and a lot of... There's there's none in this one, but usually I'll have some, some kind of little characters sort of watching whatever the main focus is. You know, little animals or little something. And somebody told me that all my paintings were sort of voyeuristic ones, which... You know, I guess that could be a thing. She's definitely a human character, but maybe there's some, some animal elements to her, like her nose is not entirely human, and her she's got the antlers. I don't think she has a name. I don't know, I don't know why, but Lucy popped into my head for some reason. So Pancake, subscribe! <laughs>